Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the regularly scheduled Sunderland Select Board meeting. Tonight is Monday, May 8th, 2023, and it is 6.30 p.m. The reason I am talking is because we have a new Select Board member, and that means reorganization, and I get to run the meeting when we reorganize. Um, this is basically electing the chair, vice chair, and clerk of the Select Board. Um, so what I'm going to do is take nominations, um, seconds, any other nominations, um, close the nominations, and then uh, take a vote. And so we are going to start with chair of the select board. Any nominations? I nominate Nathan. Second. Nathaniel. I don't know why I keep saying Nathan. Oh, that's all good. Um, other nominations? Hearing no others, I, I'll entertain a motion to close the nominations. A motion to close the nominations. Second? Second. Okay. And all those in favor? Aye. All right. Um, all those in favor of Nathaniel Waring as chair of the Sunderland Select Board? Aye. Aye. Are you abstaining? I will abstain, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Nominations for vice chair. I nominate Crystal. Second. Thank you. Um, any discussion or other nominations? All right. Motion to close. I move we close nominations. Second. Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, to close nominations? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, no, let you guys do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, voting on vice chair. All those in favor of Crystal Drake Tremblay as vice chair? Aye. Aye. Okay. Nominations for clerk? I nominate Dan. Second? Second. Um, uh, any other nominations or discussion? Motion to close. A motion to close. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, okay, and now the vote uh, for Mr. Murphy for clerk. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? All right. Um, so congratulations to all of you, um, Mr. Chair, Ms. Vice Chair, Mr. Clerk, um, Mr. Chair, would you like to take over running the meeting, or do you want me to run through it? I will happily take over. Okay. Um, so our first official order of business as our new select board will be to approve the minutes from our last meeting. And motion we approve the minutes from May 1st. We have a motion made. Any discussion? Not hearing any discussion. Oh, do we have a second on that motion? Second. Right. We have a made, motion made and seconded. Not hearing any discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Two nothing. All right. All right. Our next order of business is going to be the committee appointments. I uh, will let you. Can we, before we do that, um, yes. we have a, a guest here can, um, for the one day license. Can we do that first? Absolutely. Okay, great. Thank you. Yep, that makes total sense. All right, uh, Keith, you're here to request a one-day license for graduation party at the uh, town uh, park. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Wonderful. Um, so, yeah, it's on uh, June 3rd. Um, there were no concerns by the police department, fire department, board of health, uh, or building inspector. Um, everything is in order. So um, there were no concerns by staff. Okay. Any discussion? I motion we approve the one day liquor license June 3rd for Keith McFarland. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to approve the one day liquor license for Keith McFarland uh, for June 3rd, 2023, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. All right, congratulations. Congratulations to the son, daughter, whoever graduated. <laughs> My daughter and my niece. Oh, great. Congratulations oh, great. to both of them. Wonderful. Excellent. Um, so I just want 
wait for an email from or yeah from send you'll circle back um and then we'll have the actual certificate and let you know when to pick it up thank you very much thank you very much Thanks. all righty uh, our next order of business is the committee appointments yes i uh, will hand that back over to you for that so um typically in june we do committee appointments for the following fiscal year um but as we have a new select board member and we have a couple of committees that will continue to meet between now and June, um, I wanted to at least bring it up uh, for, for temporary appointments. Um, or you could choose to make the appointments and then just roll them over. Um, so currently, uh, Nathaniel is serving on the Capital Planning Committee, the Ditch Committee, the well, everybody's on the emergency preparedness team. Uh, Union 38 and IA rep. Crystal is village center committee, housing committee, personnel committee. And then Tom was on the community preservation committee. Mm -hmm. The Franklin Regional Count Council of Governments rep. The South County EMS Board of Oversight rep. And the South County Senior Center Board of Oversight rep. So those are the, the four vacant seats. And then there is a South County Senior Center meeting on Wednesday. So that's really the, the critical one for tonight. Um, and if you want to don't want to make appointments or choose for the other committees at this time, I think that's OK. okay. Um, any discussion? Is anyone interested in any of those committees, especially the Senior Center one? The only thing in the short term is I, I can't go this Wednesday. Yeah. But so uh, in reality, we're only appointing somebody till June first, right? Uh, July first. July first. Yeah. I mean, you yes, in June you can change it. I'm just trying to think about it. Do they meet monthly? Um. Or less frequently. I mean, I can do it this, I could do it this Wednesday. If it's something you're interested in, we can reorganize. Sure, sure. Yeah, I can, I can rearrange it just as I can't do it. Right. Oh, yeah. Straight away. Because obviously it's yep. short notice. So I'll do it until July 1st. Okay. Um. Yeah, we don't vote on that, right? We just yeah. sort of decide. Yeah. yeah you, okay. And also, if Dan, if you want to take over before then, I, I would assume that we could make a motion and change that. I don't know that there's anything well, stopping us. Well, I'm from just doing. see when the next meeting is. There might not be yeah, another. Yeah, it, it might have been the last one for a while. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the other ones, unless there's a, a need right now, we can wait on those a little bit, unless somebody. Sure, I'd be happy to whatever you guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested in the South County EMS one. Okay. Which would make sense to you have a lot of experience with EMS in general. Yeah. So I got one, two, three. So I've got four now. That would give me five. How many are there total? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see this one. Was that the packet? Was that my packet? I think so. Uh, no, I, I don't think okay. so. So there's ten. Okay. Maybe. There's one that we're all on, so. Yeah. There's nine. So yeah, three. so if you're three. each on three. Yeah, yeah so. Seven. I mean, I can, any of the other ones, if there's any of them that interest you, personnel, village center, housing, we do some emails. We can do some emails. Yeah. We can email about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I don't think we can email about okay. this now. Um, we all have the list, though, and we can think yeah. about what we want to do okay. in the next meeting. Yeah, I'll, I can put it on the agenda. And that's old business, and yeah. Great. Yeah, but if there's any of those that I, any one of them I am fine with. Okay. The only one that I have right now that I'd really like to keep is the Capital Planning Committee. Okay. Um, I'm kind of invested in that at this point. Um, but if you have interest in the Ditch Committee or. Has the, the ditch committee ever met? Not in the last year. So. <laughs> okay. Not in the last three and a half years. So oh, okay. that one's that's a quiet one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who, who knows? Yeah, next, could, yeah, yeah, next month it could just blow up. We get an eight-inch rain in the next week. <laughs> yeah. But um, 
And I, 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 I do actually like being on the, the Teachers Union 38 one also, but if you wanted that one, that would be something I'd be happy to have you take over. Okay. Um, all right, so let's, let's uh, table that for now, except for the one appointment, um, and then we can revisit that in the coming weeks. And can you just give me the particulars on it? Yeah. Like where they meet, what time? Yep. Yep. All right, so that covers all of our uh, new business on to old business, uh, select board updates. Um, let's start with the uh, town meeting and the uh, election. We had a very successful town meeting, a very successful election. Um, everything in both venues passed with flying colors, which is lovely. Um, so thank you to the town for showing up to both of those, those uh, very important town functions um, and for supporting the capital override so that we can make sure that our capital, uh, our, our capital buildings in town uh, main, are maintained for the foreseeable future. Um, I would like to just quickly go over uh, what that means since the capital override did pass. Um, it's important for us to know what that actually is going to look like. So give me one second to pull up the, there we go. All right, uh, because of the uh, override passing, the highway department is going to be able to procure a bucket, I'm uh, sorry, a backhoe loader and replace a truck that needs replacing. Um, the library is going to get an upgrade to their HVAC system and carpet replacement. Uh, the police uh, and fire department is going to get uh, an HVAC upgrade, or at least a down payment on an HVAC upgrade um, with money we've set aside out of um, free cash to hopefully make up the rest of the difference if that's something that happens in the next year. Otherwise, we'll take that out next year. Um, we also uh, did some improvements here in the town building, uh, the town offices here. Um, that would be the front step replacement. As most of us are aware, the front steps have needed work for as long as I've lived in town and I've been here half my life. Um, and so that's a, a thing that we're very excited about getting done, um, as well as some uh, floor refinishing inside of the building, um, which is also well overdue. Um, we also then have um, mini splits in the library for the elementary school, which that's is all this year. All this year because of the override, yeah. Um, mini splits in the library, um, which will be great because currently that is a, an issue that they have that they need fixed. So that uh, comes up to the 273 um, out of the $275,000 that we had for the override. So uh, that's great news. Um, but more importantly, uh, we have just shy of $4 million worth of capital improvements that we need to make over the next 10 years. Um, and this money combined with the $124,886 that we currently get from the original override um, gives us just about $400,000 a year to work on these, over, uh, on these upgrades. So this is going to give us uh, really a, a plan for how we're going to deal with the next 10 years um, and also just in general long-term stabilization for capital expenses. Um, so thank you everybody for all, for everyone for voting on that. Um, it has been a lot of work on our end to figure out how to make all this work. So. I appreciate the town uh, coming out and voting, and it's been great. Any other uh, select board updates? Okay, Dan, anything? No. Alrighty. Um, town administrator updates, Jeff. Yeah, I just want to add on the, I want to underscore something you said, which is we're putting 200000 in free cash into the capital stabilization fund. Since I've gotten here, we have used all of the capital stabilization funds every year. So actually having money in there in case there's an emergency, a truck breaks down or hey, we, HVAC, we can get it done. Like It's just nice to have that money. And, and that doesn't show up on a list anywhere. So I just wanted to emphasize that, that that, from my perspective, is probably as important as any of the projects you mentioned. And, and just to, to respond to that also, um, our hope is is that we won't necessarily have to spend every penny every year so that when we hit a year that has a million dollars worth of capital expenses, we're not just like, oh, we're back at zero again, but maybe we actually have $600,000 in there coming into that year and can, you know, cover all those expenses. So um, in future, this year, we had a lot on our plate, and so all of the capital stabilization money was set aside, except for, the, as Jeff pointed out, the 200000 we put in for free cash. Um, our hope is is that we can maybe build that fund up a little bit so when something big does come in, we might even be able to in the middle of a year fix something rather than having to wait till town meeting. How lovely would that be? So yes, thank you, Jeff. That's a very important distinction. Anything else from your end? Um, uh, the restrooms hopefully will be finished this week. Uh, everything except for the drinking fountain, um, which is shipping soon. Um, 
So fingers crossed that they'll, they'll be open and uh, available for use by the weekend. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that. Alrighty. So that is everything on our agenda for today. Um, at this time, I would entertain a motion to call the meeting. A motion to adjourn. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. <laughs>